Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Rao here with the Bass Hang, and I am here in conjunction with DR Strings, and we are bringing you a video on how to properly install DR Strings. Uh, this actually works for any string manufacturer, but specifically we are doing this for DR Strings. They want you to do this on all their strings, especially round core strings. And guys, the opening shot of me playing in this video, I'm playing the fat beams. I really like the fat beams. They kind of fall in between the low riders and the high beams. They have a nice mid-range punch to them that I really like, and they still retain the highs and the lows. They're not as bright as a high beam, and they're not as mellow as a low rider. They're kind of right in the middle with a little bit more mids, and I really like them, and that's what I'm playing at the beginning of the video. Very great strings, the fat beams. So let's talk about DR strings when installing. First and foremost, do not stretch. Don't stretch the strings when you put them on, okay? Just get them up to pitch, and they'll stay in tune. They might go a cent or two out, just like any string would, but don't stretch them. Stretching, actually, if you have to stretch, that's kind of a sign of a subpar string. So if you are having to stretch strings, then you're using a bad string. Use DRs, that's the thing. So what they want you to do is crimp a 90 degree angle before you cut. So you're gonna measure a couple of posts extra, right? And then you're going to, so you have enough winding down the post, crimp, and then you're gonna cut the excess that you don't need. That's gonna go, like this much is gonna go into the post, so you're gonna cut off that extra. But crimp first, and then, sorry, haha. <laughs> crimp, and then cut. So what you're gonna end up with is this, right? And that's gonna go into the post. Always crimp before you cut, and do not stretch. Did I mention do not stretch? I think I did, but I wanna really emphasize that. I get comments on wonderful YouTube <laughs> that uh, people are saying that you need to stretch strings. That's a complete lie. I've been using DR strings for, I wanna say over 20 years. I've never got or received a bad string, a dead string, because I always have done this. I've always done the crimp and then cut. Uh, also, on the inside of the packaging, so this is all kind of new packaging for DR. It's very, very cool. As you can see, the boxes, they also come with, each string has this non-corrosive packaging. So it's very, very cool. Uh, and then if you've ever opened up a package that has the instructions, crimp and then cut. Very, very important. Again, they want you to do that on especially round core strings, but I do it on everything. Uh, and again, it should be adopted to any manufacturer, not just DR strings, but we're talking DR right now. So there you go, kind of cool new packaging. Um, also, if you've got some funky fingers, which I do not, thankfully, my strings last a very long time. I don't have that, you know, acidity or whatever it takes to kind of rust strings. I do have friends that that, that happens and they, they kind of go through strings a lot quicker than I do. Um, Dragon skins, very cool strings. They're coated. They have, um, let's see, K3 technology coating, which is pretty cool. They last a long time. They're still bright, but they have that coating in case you're into that. So yeah, and then I, uh, I always uh, have a few sets. There's nickel low riders. There's legend flat wounds, which are really great. These strings, I really like the flat wounds. They are very, very thuddy and some flat wounds can be a little bright at first. These strings are very worn in sounding. They sound very, very nice and dead at first. If uh, you know, if you're looking for that really old school James Jamerson sound, the strings have been on there for 20 years. Those are really, really nice. So again, talking for DR strings, the bass hang, wanted to show you how to properly install and change your strings. Just adopt this method for, for any string that you're using, but especially DR. Um, uh, at the end, there's a little video of me installing some strings and changing some strings on my MTD Saratoga. You'll see how I do that. Crimp, cut, do not stretch. Don't stretch. Do not stretch strings. Get them up to pitch and you should be good to go. 
Uh, again, thanks again, guys. The bass hang, Steve Araujo, DR Strings. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.